What's up everybody and welcome, welcome, welcome. Can you guys see where we the fuck we are? We are here once again for year two, not one, year two of ED motherfucking C. Y'all heard, we are in Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm here with Mac Nelly and we're here to go crazy. Go crazy, ah, go stupid. Ah. Without further ado y'all, we're just gonna get in there because we have a lot to go over, a lot to cover. I'm not trying to make the video too long, but I hope you guys do like it. Make sure you guys subscribe, like all that shit. We gotta get in there, get our seats for the opening ceremony. And without further ado, this is a different type of video. So, uh, dude, this Johnny from the future is gonna explain real quick. Give him your guys' attention. Yo, what is up, everybody? It is dude, this Johnny from the future. And this today guy's I'm gonna funny. Be walking you through my honest thoughts and opinions throughout EDC day one, uh, and I hope you guys enjoy. It. And back to regular Johnny. And without further ado, y'all, let's just let's get the fuck in there, okay? with James Hype with the opening ceremony from he played before the opening ceremony. I didn't see last year's opening ceremony, so seeing this year's was honestly dope. I'm not gonna lie. James Hype, he's cool. I'm not gonna lie. He performs better in day three, but he's pretty cool. And I like the opening ceremony, I'm not gonna lie. There was tons of people just waiting, just waiting to go into the whole thing. It was, uh, the stages were pieces of art. And so was the opening ceremony. In 1993, Insomniac was born in the City of Angels. It started in the underground, which is still at the core of everything we do. Everyone on this planet needs something to believe in. And the rave scene has given that to the faithful. We never stop dancing, and we never will. So EDC, let's see those hands in the air, and let's celebrate 30 years of dancing. People for real were dead ass pouring in, y'all. Once the gates were open, it was like a flood. They were just went. So, y'all, the first stop we made was karaoke in downtown EDC. It was honestly just walking straight in. As you can see, there was someone already pumping up. So, it was a dope experience. Uh, it really felt like you were like a movie. You feel me? It was that realistic. Uh, everybody was there having a good time. People were singing, having fun. It was a 10 out of 10 place. I'm not gonna lie. Karaoke. We have Monica and Dora being our bartenders today. Next, we went to Coinbase. There wasn't much to do because we didn't have a digital wallet, so uh, all we did was just sign her name. And then that was it. Next stop was the garden. Honestly, the garden was super dope. I don't remember seeing it last year, but it was super dope. The environment, uh, like I said, we really make these feel the, like the environment all comes all together, you know, and they have these rave rooms, like the uh, Allegiant, Allegiant hangar and stuff like that, little like club areas, super dope. And next, as you can see, we made it to our way to our shops. Yeah. Nelly copped a few scarves. I copped one in later days, so you hope you like that. And uh, there was just so much to look at, y'all. If you go to EDC, look at the shop. They have gems. 
After that, we went to Electric Avenue. Honestly, the lights were everywhere. There were so much things to look at, and we made our way through the Pixel Forest to Neon Garden, where we met our first stage, and the stage was beautiful, I'm not gonna lie. It really feels like you are in a enclosed space, and uh, it makes you feel like you're going crazy. So, uh, Neon Garden was just Crazy roller coasters. I wouldn't get on those personally. Maybe next year. And then we made our way to Quantum Valley. Uh, honestly, it looked really nice. It kind of gave me a kaleidoscope view with every, all the lights and how they're, you know, reflecting off the fabric and stuff. It was a beautiful stage. Uh, there wasn't that many people here, which was good, but nonetheless, the lights made it beautiful. Big boy, circuit grounds, y'all. Oh my, I swear they made it better than last year. Somehow, somehow they did that shit. Circuit grounds, absolutely beautiful. The stage is huge, so much space, uh, so much going on, you know. The stage is huge, y'all. I cannot, it's one of the biggest stages I've ever seen in my life. Uh, there's so many lights, you know, lasers. It's crazy. And it started raining, y'all. It literally started raining. I, I've never been to EDC while it rains, but it was perfect. We made our way to Base Pod, and Base Pod, how can you go wrong? How can you go wrong? Banging your head. Bang, y'all. How can you go wrong? It was dope. The LEDs look beautiful like last year. It didn't change much. I think this is the stage that didn't change as much as all the Yo, other ones. Nonetheless, scream. great stage. And we made our way to Wasteland, y'all. Wasteland. Man, uh, this year, Wasteland really left a good impact on me. The beats were crazy, you know. There wasn't too, it wasn't too packed. There was a lot to look at. Uh, I feel like there was more space than last year. And honestly, Wasteland was just a whole environment in itself with all the flames and everything it was beautiful shut up dude. and i got a king of the king of the pirates band so shout out dude that gave me it real well no cap really made my world of e to the d to the c i now pronounce you legally husband and wife kiss that beautiful bride taking a fucking break because it is crazy walking around for hours so we're taking a break right now we're here at uh... 20 minutes later cosmic meadows yeah we're at cosmic meadows right now uh we're waiting for alice in wonderland which is at 11. how do you like an easy season far though there's so much stuff to see, I'm like, breaking my neck. What do you mean by that? Everywhere, but I love it. So much, so much y'all, so much more to come, let's go. Main fucking stage. Here we go, yo. Kinetic stage, the main stage, the beautiful stage. Honestly, this stage is great. It never seems to disappoint. Honestly, day one was a little underwhelming. The eyes of the statue were closed. It put me mad. That honestly really did make me sad. Either way, though, I think it was because it was raining really hard. Nonetheless, the stage, beautiful as well. Circuit grounds and kinetic fields. Beautiful stages, y'all. Just works of art, and uh, they didn't fail. They didn't fail. Just hit it on the head. They hit it on the head. We saw one side piece. We saw a side piece. Side piece went crazy. We saw a show. You feel me? There was a rap dance battle happening in the show with fucking lights and shit. Shit was crazy, y'all. Crazy. Uh, with everything happening in the background and stuff, we were waiting patiently, so patiently for Alice in Wonderland, y'all. We've never seen her before, but uh, we knew it was gonna be crazy. Rewind. 
Also, there was like this show with the actual stage where it moves and you know the show uh, it gives like a kind of like theater kind of point of view of it and it, start, it started the fireworks start going off and the hands start moving and I don't know where the fuck to look but it was crazy you know I really like how the stages are actually moving stages and they try to incorporate it into the environment to get the crowd going so I love EDC for that and after this there's no turning back you take the blue pill the story ends Nonetheless, though, we're getting to our performances of the video. Alice in Wonderland is first, and I'm not going to talk to you the whole thing. I'm just going to say she was a great performer. Definitely one of the best uh, DJs that I've ever seen. I'm not going to lie. She got the crowd going. She brought the energy herself. I'm not going to talk too much, but uh, Alice in Wonderland, one of the best DJs I've ever seen. And I hope you guys enjoy her performance and the clips, and uh, I'll let you guys watch it. What the fuck is that? What did he say? we saw this EDC y'all holy the lineup was there y'all David Guetta French DJ I know you know his name everybody gotta know his name if you in the rent community D David Guetta was dope okay he was dope you feel me uh, he had the crowd going you know me he was really trying to interact with the crowd yo his beats were crazy I'm not gonna talk hope you guys perform enjoy his performance and the clips that I got and uh, honestly he's a great dude Maybe a little bit better than Alice in Wonderland, but I might be biased because of all the bangers he's put out before. No, further ado, enjoy them.
I was waiting for all day, y'all, for two months since the lineup was released, y'all. I've been waiting for this moment. Marshmallow. Finally, he was going to perform, y'all. I didn't go to my senior, uh, senior vacation or whatever to Universal, and he performed there. So it's always been on my mind to finally see Marshmallow, and I did. So thank you, EDC. It was such a good experience for me. Don't get me wrong. His set did break three times because of the rain, y'all. He had to stop three times. Uh, they tried putting a tarp over it. The rain was just going, going, going. I could see Marshmallow was getting frustrated, so... I just want Marshmallow to know if you've seen this video, yo, I had the best time ever, and I know people next to me did, you know, it was great, so, uh, I hope you guys enjoy his clip from his performance, because he went crazy.
should definitely stay the whole time. So I hope you guys enjoyed day one footage. EDC hey, day one. Bro, I just want to say we went crazy on that marshmallow set, bro. Hey! Hey, you enjoyed your EDC, man. Thank you, bro. Let's do this shit, bro. Let's keep it I went crazy. Nelly went crazy. Hope you guys stay tuned for next video next week because we'll be back for that. Arigato. I'll see y'all next week.